a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello and good morning everyone. Thank you for joining us today on another episode of Alpha. My name is Jamin Gavdam and the topic for today is I will raise him power. Let us pray. Dear Lord, hear me for what I am praying for. I have confessed that you hear all my prayers. Thank you, God, for all the blessings that are coming on you. Your name I pray. Amen. John 6, verse 1 to 15 reminds us that Jesus fed a large crowd with only five loaves of bread and two fish. And after this miracle, the crowd wanted to make Jesus their king. To escape the crowd, Jesus sailed with his disciples to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. However, the next day the crowd followed Jesus there. Seeing the excited crowd, Jesus used the opportunity to preach his, preach his very powerful sermon about the bread of life and the gift of everlasting life. In his sermon, Jesus spoke about three basic ideas connecting with everlasting life. First, Jesus said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. According to John 6 verse 58 and also John 6 verse 33, with these words, Jesus confirmed he is the same person who is named the mighty, I am, in Exodus 3, verse 14. Second, Jesus explained that everlasting life comes from him. Who, he who comes to me and he who puts his trust in me will get this blessing. And this is taken from John 6, verse 35. Finally, Jesus connected the gift of everlasting life within the final resurrection of God's people. The final resurrection is a time when God wakes up his people from the dead at the second coming. And Jesus gives the promise that I will raise them up on the last day. Jesus also gave us a surprising promise in John 6 verse 47. I tell you the truth. The person who believes in me will live forever. This promise shows that we already have the gift of everlasting life. Does this mean that the believer will never die? Of course not. Why? Because the word raise them up shows us the people who come back to life after they die. We must remember that without Jesus, we don't have access to everlasting life. And when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we still continue to live as humans who will sleep when we die. But at the second coming, Jesus will resurrect or wake us up from death. Then he will give us the gift of everlasting life. Jesus promised this gift to us not because we have spirit that never die, but because we have faith in his mercy. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for giving us this day. Thank you for blessing me despite my sins. That the words and my action bring honor to your holy name. I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning and do join us again tomorrow. God bless you. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.